Welcome back to our channel. Today, we will explore the classic movie Dances with Wolves, released in 1990. Dances with Wolves is one of the greatest epic movies of the 90s, with a profound story about friendship and culture clashes. So today, we will reminisce and review this movie again, with a general look at the cast from the beginning to the present. We will tell you about the original names and ages of the actors in the series and how they have changed in 2024. Now let's find out together. Number 15. Robert Pastorelli was born on June 21, 1954 and played the role of Charlie. At that time, Robert Pastorelli was 36 years old. Charlie was a minor character who appeared in the first part of the film, acting as a companion to Lieutenant John J. Dunbar on his journey to the Wild West. Although he did not appear much in the film, Charlie left an impression on the audience with his humor and optimistic personality, contributing to clarifying the situation and mood of Dunbar in the first days in the new land. Robert Pastorelli passed away on March 8, 2004, at the age of 49. After Dances with Wolves, he continued to have a successful acting career, best known for his role as Eldon Bernicke in the popular television series Murphy Brown. Robert Pastorelli also participated in many other films and television shows, leaving a special mark on the entertainment industry before passing away at a relatively young age. Number 14. Tantu Cardinal was born on July 20, 1950, and played the role of Black Shawl. At the time, Tantu Cardinal was 40 years old. Black Shawl is a minor but important character in the Lakota Sioux community that Lieutenant John J. Dunbar encounters. She is the wife of Chief Kicking Bird and plays an important role in representing the gentleness, wisdom, and strength of women in the tribe. The character of Black Shawl helps to portray the inner life and complex relationships of the Lakota tribe, while also emphasizing unity and loyalty to their culture and traditions. Currently, Tantu Cardinal is 74 years old. After Dances with Wolves, she continued her acting career with many roles in popular films and television shows, becoming one of the most recognized Canadian actresses of North American native origin. Tantu Cardinal is known not only for her acting talent, but also for her role as a strong advocate for the rights of indigenous communities, contributing greatly to raising awareness of North American native culture and history in the entertainment industry. Number 13. Kevin Costner was born on January 18, 1955, and played the role of Lieutenant John J. Dunbar. At that time, Kevin Costner was 35 years old. Lieutenant John J. Dunbar was a Union Army officer during the American Civil War who volunteered for duty at a remote outpost on the western frontier. There, Dunbar developed a close relationship with the Lakota Sioux tribe and began to explore harmony with nature and native culture. Dunbar's character represents the transformation from a lonely soldier to a soul deeply connected to people and the environment around him, and reflects the tension between Western and native cultures in American history. Kevin Costner is currently 69 years old. After Dances with Wolves, which won him seven Oscars, including Best Director and Best Picture, Costner continued his career with notable roles in films such as The Bodyguard, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, and Waterworld. He has also worked on many other television and film projects, and is a prolific producer and director who has had a major impact on the entertainment industry. Do you like this character in the movie? If yes, leave a comment of one. If no, leave a comment of zero. Number 12. 
Kirk Baltz was born on September 14, 1959, and played the role of Edward Brown. At that time, Kirk Baltz was 31 years old. Corporal Edwards is a minor but impactful character in Dances with Wolves. Edwards is a soldier in the United States Army, portrayed as cocky, ruthless, and has no qualms about killing people or animals for pleasure. He has an extremely negative attitude towards Lieutenant John J. Dunbar, showing hatred and contempt for Dunbar's ideals. Edwards' presence in the film highlights the contrast between the humane values that Dunbar strives for and the violent, emotionless nature of soldiers like Edwards. Kurt Baltz is currently 64 years old. After Dances with Wolves, he continued his acting career and participated in many other films and television shows. Kurt Baltz is known for his ability to portray a variety of roles and has appeared in many notable artistic projects. Besides acting, he is also involved in acting teaching and is a respected figure in the film community. Number 11. Mary McDonnell was born on April 28, 1952 and played the role of Stans with a fist. At that time, Mary McDonnell was about 38 years old. Stands with a Fist is a white woman who was kidnapped and raised in the Lakota Sioux tribe, who later became the wife of a Lakota warrior. Her character plays an important role in connecting Lieutenant John J. Dunbar with the Lakota people as she helps him understand and integrate into their lives. With courage and resilience, Stands with a Fist is not only a translator but also a strong woman fighting for her love and identity between two different worlds. Mary McDonnell is now 72 years old. After Dances with Wolves, she continued her successful acting career with many memorable roles, including President Laura Roslin in the series Battlestar Galactica and Sharon Reader in the series The Closer and Major Crimes. Mary McDonnell is highly regarded for her subtle acting abilities and has received numerous award nominations, including two Oscar nominations for her roles in Dances with Wolves and Passion Fish. Number 10. Larry Joshua was born on March 12, 1952 and played the role of Sergeant Bauer. At that time, Larry Joshua was 38 years old. Sergeant Bauer is a supporting character. He is a powerful military officer who often tries to manipulate and intimidate others. Sergeant Bauer can be extremely cruel, especially towards Lieutenant John J. Dunbar, whom he harbors a deep hatred for. The character can also show cowardice in stressful situations. Currently, Larry Joshua is 72 years old. After Dances with Wolves, he continued his acting career and participated in many other films and television shows, including roles in The Long Kiss Goodnight and The Replacement Killers. Number 9. Maury Chaikin was born on July 27, 1949, and played the role of Colonel Fambro. At that time, Maury Chaikin was 41 years old. Colonel Fambro was the commander of Fort Hayes, where he commanded the soldiers and gave appropriate orders. As the war progressed, Colonel Fambro began to show signs of psychological instability, showing a breakdown and loss of control. Chaikin's portrayal showed a character with complex psychological depth and a marked change in the face of war pressure. Maury Chaikin died on July 27, 2010, due to complications from a heart valve disease at the age of 61. Number 8. Graham Greene was born on June 22, 1952, and played the role of Kicking Bird. At that time, Graham Greene was 38 years old. 
Kicking Bird is an elder of the Lakota Sioux tribe, known for his role as a character full of wisdom and sensitivity. He had a deep relationship with Lieutenant John J. Dunbar, helping to bridge the gap between Dunbar and his tribe. Kicking Bird demonstrated leadership through his wisdom and vision, always seeking peace and understanding between different peoples. His character contributed significantly to the storyline and expressed the cultural values of the Lakota tribe in the film. Currently, Graham Greene is 72 years old. After Dances with Wolves, he continued his acting career with many notable roles in both film and television. He is recognized as one of the most successful Native American actors in North America, with numerous awards and nominations, including an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his role in Dances with Wolves. In addition to acting, Graham Greene is known for being an active spokesperson for Native issues, contributing to raising awareness and respect for Native culture in the entertainment industry. Number 7. Rodney A. Grant was born on March 9, 1959, and played the role of wind in his hair. At that time, Rodney A. Grant was 31 years old. Wind in his hair is a strong and powerful Sioux warrior and leader who protects his tribe's culture and way of life. Wind in his hair is a powerful and courageous character, often showing determination and deep loyalty to his tribe. The relationship between Wind and his hair and Lieutenant John J. Dunbar is an important part of the plot, showing the conflict and empathy between two different cultures. Rodney A. Grant is currently 65 years old. After Dances with Wolves, he continued his acting career and participated in many other films and television shows, including roles in films such as The Last of the Dogmen and Geronimo, an American legend. Rodney A. Grant is known for his ability to portray deep roles and has appeared in many notable artistic projects. Number 6. Tom Everett was born on June 2, 1949 and played the role of Sergeant Pepper. At that time, Tom Everett was 41 years old. Sergeant Pepper participated in the battle in Tennessee with the United States Army. Sergeant Pepper was able to survive in battlefield conditions, often mocking the leadership and not willing to sacrifice his life easily. He also had a good communication ability with Lieutenant John J. Dunbar. Currently, Tom Everett is 75 years old. After Dances with Wolves, he continued his acting career and participated in many other films and television shows, including roles in The Fugitive and The Green Mile. Number 5. Charles Rocket was born on August 28, 1949 and played the role of Lieutenant Elgin. At the time, Charles Rocket was 41 years old. Lieutenant Elgin was a low-ranking officer in the United States Army who was somewhat overbearing and insensitive in dealing with the natives. Lieutenant Elgin often showed arrogance and disrespect for Lieutenant John J. Dunbar and his ideals. Elgin's presence in the film highlighted the conflicts and tensions between the military and the natives. Charles Rocket passed away on October 7, 2005, at the age of 56. After Dances with Wolves, he continued his acting career and participated in many other films and television shows, including The Great Outdoors and The Phantom. Number 4. Floyd Red Crow Westerman was born on August 17, 1936 and played the role of Ten Bears. At the time, Floyd Westerman was 54 years old. Ten Bears was a chief of the Lakota Sioux tribe, an intelligent, calm leader with a deep understanding of the world around him. He was an iconic figure, symbolizing the wisdom and respect for Native American traditions. Ten Bears was instrumental in the tribe's decision to accept Lieutenant John J. 
Dunbar into their community, helping to bridge the understanding between the two different cultures. With his powerful performance, Floyd Westerman brought this character great depth and impact to the film's story. Floyd Westerman passed away on December 13, 2007, at the age of 71. After Dances with Wolves, he continued his artistic career with many other roles in films and television series, as well as being an active musician and social activist. Floyd Westerman is widely known not only for his artistic contributions, but also for his tireless efforts to protect the rights and culture of Native Americans. Number 3. Jimmy Herman was born on October 5, 1930, and played the role of Stone Calf. At the time, Jimmy Herman was 60 years old. Stone Calf was a Lakota elder in Dances with Wolves. He was portrayed as wise, not used to lying, and not afraid to interact with Lieutenant John J. Dunbar. Stone Calf did not know how to use weapons, but was a strong medicine man and had the ability to heal. The character played an important role in showing understanding and connection between different cultures. Jimmy Herman passed away on November 2, 2013, due to heart failure at the age of 83. Number 2. Steve Revis was born on June 14, 1962, and portrayed the role of Sue No. 1. At the time, Steve Revis was 28 years old. Sue No. 1 belonged to the Lakota tribe and followed the directives of Chief Ten Bears. He was one of the warriors of the tribe, ready to fight against enemies, including white people and other outside tribes when necessary. In addition to fighting, Sue No. 1 also participated in hunting activities. Steve Revis passed away on November 7, 2017, at the age of 55. After Dances with Wolves, he continued his acting career and appeared in many other films and television shows, including roles in The Last of the Dogmen and The Longest Yard. Thank you for including me on this journey through the video about the cast of Dances with Wolves in 2024. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel to support us. Don't forget to leave a comment and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos. I look forward to seeing you again in the next video.